breaking news here at Fox 4 News at 6. Fox 4 confirming through Texas Roadhouse. These are the four of the five teens killed in that horrific crash behind Top Golf late last night. You see these pictures roaming through, but in order from the top was Amanda Ferguson, Brianna Coleman, Eric Paul, and Jackson Iyer. All again victims of that crash. Many of them just recently graduating high school. The crash shocking so many all throughout Southwest Florida tonight. Fort Myers police say this happened at some point after 10 last night off of Top Golf Way. That's by I-75 in Colonial. And tonight their families, friends, co-workers all coming together at that restaurant, the Texas Roadhouse, where they'd worked in Fort Myers. Yeah, this has been an absolutely heartbreaking day for Southwest Florida. Fox 4 has had crews on scene all day, and that's why we are now joined live by Fox 4's Colton Chavez. And Colton, tell us that investigators say all families have now been notified as we're learning more about the teens killed, and it's been a tough day for Southwest Florida, Colton. Yeah, Nadine, you were just showing the four pictures of those employees from Texas Roadhouse and Sergeant Christy Neroni with the Fort Myers Police Department said earlier today that all five of the families had been notified and were really starting to put faces to this tragedy that took all of these young lives. Now, the car, which I'm going to show you in a little bit, has already been taken from the scene, but what we're left with tonight is right down here. You can see pieces of concrete from where we believe that this car went up outlined in neon orange lighting you can see tire track marks going through the grass area and as we go up you can see families and loved ones all checking out the area and leaving flowers as we continue to learn more information tonight the unfathomable aftermath of a deadly crash in fort myers where investigators are pulling a dark colored vehicle seen here from the lake off top golf way it's here where Fort Myers police investigators say five teenagers between the ages of 18 and 19 years old were all inside the car when it went off the road and into the lake. Was any of the occupants alive? No. Sergeant Christy Neroni with the Fort Myers Police Department not releasing names, but saying the teen's car was the only vehicle involved and that all five passengers' families were notified. We just finished up the, the notifications of the, the five families. There were some employees from the Texas Roadhouse. The restaurant, less than half a mile from where police say they pulled the teens out of the water. That Texas Roadhouse location posting on Facebook around noon that they would be closed for the rest of the day for an employee related issue. People wearing Texas Roadhouse shirts seen gathering around the crash site where loved ones told me the tragedy is still too fresh for them to talk about. A spokesperson for Texas Roadhouse echoing what we heard from loved ones at the scene. They've grown up with us. They, they recently graduated high school with us and, you know, just, just a huge part of our family and a chunk of our hearts missing. While authorities like Neroni say what's missing for them is what caused these teens to crash late Sunday night. And from this point, we'll be going over to the medical examiner's office where we'll hopefully get some more answers to our questions. information from the medical examiner tomorrow. We're being told from FMPD they expect to get that in the early morning hours and the questions that still remain is what caused this crash? What led these young teenagers to, to end up on this road and in the lake? You can see we're still giving you a live look as people continue to gather at this location tonight and if you have any information on what led to this crash, where those teenagers were going, both the Fort Myers Police Department and Southwest Florida Crime Stoppers, they're asking you to reach out. We have have a link live on our website right now. All you have to do is click and it will take you to those resources on our website at foxfornow.com. In Fort Myers tonight, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.